class people like people from my background so we've got to reduce the tuition fees and share the burden but also don't forget those who don't go to university why don't we invest in them as well so our policy is to have good quality apprenticeships I, for those lost. that go, don't go to university so but also why? to reduce the tuition fee from nine thousand pounds to six thousand pounds well, can Scotland, Scotland do it but, I can but tell we can't you, hold on I can tell you firsthand I mean I'm from Scotland obviously and I'm a student myself I could not afford to pay nine grand tuition fees and I can tell you all firsthand, I would not be sitting here had I had to fork out that kind of money. And with but, all respect, but, I would not be able to fork out six grand either. But what we've done but Mary Black, you're from the Scottish yes, National Party. Yeah. Uh, what we've done in Scotland is we believe that, see, politics, it should be about representing ordinary people, the things that are most important to ordinary folk in society. Free education is a hallmark. How can you possibly say to any young person that their ability to move forward in life and get the education they deserve should depend on their ability to pay, whether it be nine grand or six grand? <laughs> How's that okay? You've been shaking your head. Thank you. Sitting down. Okay. 2027, on representation, on representation specifically. I think all the, all the parties don't do enough in relation to representation. All the parties. You know, I've worked in many places before. I've never worked in a place where so few of my colleagues are women. When I first was elected, I was elected before Sam, the only people who looked like me were serving in the kitchens. Um, Sam and I are the exception, not the norm. Uh, there are very few working class MPs, very few disabled MPs. Uh, and it's, it's, it's not acceptable. If we allow things to remain as they are, it will take 500 years uh, to get enough women in Parliament, enough black Asians and minority ethics in Parliament, enough disabled, enough working class. We've got to shake up the system. That means, listen, it might not, people might not like it, that means all women shortlist. That means helping working class uh, candidates to become selected to Parliament, making it cheaper to be a candidate. That means helping, helping those who are disabled, giving those who are black Asian minority ethnic candidates uh, more assistance. We can't let things lie because you know what? The only thing more important than knowing what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes is to have walked in those uh, shoes. People have struggled to make ends meet. People have had a zero hours contract like we talked about. People have struggled to make sure they can have food by week three of, of, a, of a month because of, and they need a food bank. If you've got those experiences, not only do you empathise, but hopefully you make policies but that better reflect the communities you seek to govern. So okay, why so then have the Labour <coughs> Party stood side by side with the Tories in wanting to implement £30 billion pounds worth of oh, cuts? come on, you've got to listen. No, no, no. These, listen, these, are, no these are things that really affect this, people's this lives. This is the sort of punch and that puts these guys no, no, off. No, it's right? not. No, it's not. What this is about, the problem with Westminster has been that it's been a boys' club. It's been a boys' club for too long with too many similar middle-aged, middle-class guys. And so, okay, we need to change that. And when we're talking about the lack, when we're talking about the lack of trust, hold on, let me finish. When we talk, Prime Minister, no, by the way. Uh, you're talking to Scott about Margaret Thatcher. When we are talking about the lack of trust that many young people, and as a young person myself, I feel it that we have about politicians is because they just brush things aside. Ordinary folk are set okay. to suffer. We have to bear the brunt sure. of the mistakes that have been made by bankers and the mistakes that have been made by the politicians that let them get away with things. It's about us having a chance to have a party that will genuinely represent us to go to Westminster and stand up for ordinary folk and make things like free education, make things like representation, gender equality a priority. Mary, yes. as a 20 year old, do you think you have enough life experience? Do you, do you that. think you have enough life experience at 20 years old? Well, yeah, well, of course, I don't have the same life experience as a 40-year-old or a 50-year-old. But the thing with Parliament is it should represent the whole of society, not just the men, not just the middle-aged, the middle-class side. It should have all walks of life in it. But secondly, when we look at our representatives, it's not about... I can't help my age anymore. I can help my gender or other people can help sexuality, <laughs> whatever it is. What we look for is dignity, integrity, honesty. Look for quality. I mean, it's like the gentleman said over there. He's, he asked, how, how do we know who to put our trust in? That's not your job. It's our job to earn your trust. And it's about okay, quality. Let's, That's let's hear from people in the audience now. We've heard a lot from you guys. Hi, 
I'm Cherry and I'm a student at the University of Nottingham. Um, firstly, I'd just like to reiterate the fact that as a... Uh, hi, I'm Megan. Um, I'm from London. Um, I partly agree with Russell Brand because I don't feel like you represent me and I don't have a trust in you, but then I, it's a privilege to vote and I agree that you should vote and it's a bit disappointing that people aren't voting. When you say you partly agree, what, what's the type of stuff that you agree with? Just because I don't feel like there's a trust and I do think you lie on certain issues and you don't tell the, like you couldn't come up with an answer. It's fine for you, you to say I don't know. It's fine for you cool. to say I don't know, and, and I would be happy with that answer. If you don't know, that's fine, but to you see the, the go thing, around on see it. See, with Russell Brand, I completely disagree with that. I think everybody should use your vote. You know, we've fought for it for years. We should be using it. However, what he's trying to get across is the frustration that exists all across these aisles. Now, of course, I'm coming from a Scottish perspective where the frustration is going through the roof, because as my Scottish friend here pointed out, we have been voting Labour for the past 38 years, and yet we've had continual Conservative governments. Now there I brought up what I think is a pretty reasonable point, to point out that Labour have stood side by side with what should be their enemy, the Conservatives, and they have voted to implement some of the worst austerity <coughs> and the worst cuts on the most vulnerable people. And I was told, oh, that's Punch and Judy stuff. That's not Punch and Judy, that's people's lives. Yeah. We're talking about policies and about to put 100,000 okay, people... Let's keep it. We don't have much time left, so can please I, let's I, keep I, it on topic. OK, very quickly. Can I answer the questions that have been raised rather than a party election broadcast? So...